Eso es bone game o nacimiento de un indito. I am turning into marrow. My air is brown. I feel it pass through my clothes. I am turning into marrow, training my bones to bend and touch my footprints. I dance with passion, finding itself in songs I never sang until I turn to greet the drummer. He is never there, or I am never there. We are both everywhere. All finger fingers grow into the chasm of valleys, and Ellie's words link the pages to the jeer of antelope. Old blood flows in my brain as I examine a fossil. I become the bone filled with yellow marrow. I grin like a dog into a fossilized mirror and see myself wrinkled before the sun. People outstretch their hands. My sigh drowns in the bison's belly. Laughter escapes through my fingernails. Sawaros and mule deer are my ghosts. Antlers probe my sleep. My eyes turn into murals. Grandfathers erupt from my elbow and laugh at my stomach. My knees become steps up a cliff. Caverns turn themselves inside out. I vomit the dreams and clear my scream. My grip slips. I fall and pummel myself on rocks. Familiar as all the stones, my eyebrows abandon me. I stand naked before a small fire, immune from my stare and by virtue of darkness, by virtue of being alone, my desert grows through my body. My lungs release the crucibles of lust. I turn up my palms to the sky. It is dark, the pierced skin heals itself. Fantasies occur with feathers in my hair. My fingernails become mirrors and I scream at my face, pocked, pushed, pebbles stick to the crevices in my skin. Youth escapes through my navel. My cup falls to the ground. I search for my neck and I feel every drop of blood in my body flow drop by drop. My nipples betray me. Clouds come over me, cirrus, leaving the sky open. And I clothe myself with skin. An owl's neck fur falls from a tree and all I hear is wings beating air. I turn a full circle and face the wind. My heart pushes air through my skin. Before a yucca, I am nothing. Less even before venado, less before animals whose shadows I can almost see, but I feel them evaporate like fog over a rock. The sounds come bird-like. My fingernails remain mirrors. One hand is placed over the other until I dream myself down to my knees. I pierce my knees on the earth. The blood is warm. My eyes turn me into ashes. I blow in the air like a baby's whisper. I bow to my breast and suckle myself on thorns. I feed on small particles of my flesh. The earth opens and heals with a roar. Smeared with earth, I am ready to stand. This is a poem to a dead, web-footed bird on the edge of a tide pool. I see your feathers and a piper cub flies over us. You have gone to darkness or light. Words to you become nails on the horizon. Your breast fills with small stones. Dying without ceremony, you have come closer to God. Because when the tide returns, anemones and fishes will stand and feast on you. Sacrificial as you are, brother bird, you fill my pages, and I sit and eat you with my pen. I make a picture of your feathers, and you ask nothing as my eye vultures your bones. I humble myself enough to turn my back on the sea and give you an ordinary man's blessing. This poem, and at this time, I would like to mention a poet reading this Friday night at Glide Memorial Church to benefit the struggle in, in Nicaragua. This poem is called Drum for Nicaragua. There's two poems. That, uh, I want to read one uh, in English first and then in Spanish. If it starts with a drum beat, let it. Let it start that way. Something once going cannot be stopped. A drum beat is a spear point, a rocket, a scream. A drum beats for Nicaragua. We far away, safely enclosed poets, send our words. Send a drum beat to stop a tank. Use a bolt of hope, faith and perseverance wrapped in paper, spots of ink. Drum beats can stop Somoza. If it starts with a drum beat, let it. <laughs> 